What's up guys, The Mexican Nerd here and today I'm going to show you how I connected two external monitors to my MacBook Pro 13 inch. Now I've always wondered if you could do this and how it worked, but um, there's not much videos on YouTube showing it so I thought I'd make my video to show you guys how I did it. Now uh, since the MacBook Pro only has one DVI, I mean one mini display port, I'm already using it with my mini display port to DVI to connect this monitor. So I needed to figure out a way to connect the second monitor. And what I did was I bought this USB adapter pro. What it is is kind of like a external video card and it has a USB input and that connects to your uh, computer and on the other end it has the DVI. And it also has adapters for HDMI and VGA. And basically how that works is you connect the monitor's DVI cable or VGA or HDMI whatever you have to the adapter and then connect that to the USB port and that's what I got right here USB port let me show you guys in the bottom of my computer I mean on my desk I have the adapter right there connected to the left monitor and I got the right monitor connected to the mini display port right there and it doesn't get really get hot or anything and that's basically it that's how I connected two external monitors to my MacBook Pro. Now let me just switch to another, uh, let me put the camera on my tripod so I can show you guys how it works. One thing that I forgot to mention is that adapter doesn't come with the drivers to run it on your Mac. So you gotta go to Display Link's website, go to Download Drivers, Mac Software, and just download the drivers right there. It only takes a few minutes. And after you got the drivers downloaded and installed, you just plug in the USB uh, cable to your uh, computer and it's ready to go. Now the way I usually use it is I have Twitter running on this side and got my web pages over here. But uh, now to show you guys how smooth it is, you just transfer a web page over here, surf it really quick, and it runs a little tiny bit laggy but it's really basically the same thing as this monitor over here. Um, the only times that I've seen lag is when I go to something like YouTube. Hold on, let me sign in really quick. Let me just go to my videos, play a video for you. Uh, with this one. And what I've noticed is the videos play pretty smooth when you have it around this size. You can see it's playing pretty smooth, even if I flip the HD. It plays pretty smooth. About the same as it would over here. The only time I notice a lot of lag is once I go full screen, that thing just really sucks. It starts skipping and it's really slow and sluggish. So for the most part I just watch all my videos on this screen over here and on the other screen let me see if I could show you on this screen I surf web pages or whatever and this one I'm watching video or editing video and over here I'm just surfing the web pa web pages checking my Twitter and yeah, that's pretty much it Something else to show you guys is that when you want to go on to Expose, it is laggy. Now that you have these th two monitors connected, it's pretty laggy. I noticed that right away, which kind of bothers me, but I mean, I have two monitors. That's pretty cool. So that doesn't bother me that much. And uh, dashboard pops up pretty, pretty smooth. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention is that my MacBook Pro has the Intel 3000 integrated graphics and that's it. But the 15 inch and the 17 inch MacBook Pros have the graphics card and the integrated graphics and it does graphic switching to save battery life. And that graphic switching could mess up that little adapter. Um, I don't know if they updated the drivers so that it doesn't do that anymore but I have read in reviews that that adapter will lock up your screen on your MacBook and it'll just stay black whenever it does the switching, the graphic switching. 
So if you want to use this adapter with a 15 inch or a 17 inch MacBook Pro, you might have to turn off the graphic switching on your MacBook. You can do that in the system preferences. So yeah, for, my, for mine I only have the integrated graphics so it doesn't have any switching or anything so it's always running smooth. I can close the lid of my MacBook really quick and it turns off my monitors. I just click them out, I mean the keyboard so it recognizes it and my monitor should turn back on we'll see how that works there's that one and there's that one so now my MacBook is closed let me see if I can show you guys that it's closed and I got my monitors connected and it works fine so overall I think it's a great little adapter I was kinda of worried that it would be really really laggy and it is a little bit, but it's, it's really not bad when you're like surfing the web. You don't really notice any big lag. When it gets to video, then you will notice lag. And that's why I use that monitor for video. And yeah, that's my kind of first impressions of the adapter. I've been using it for like five days now or three or four days, something like that. I like it. I have two monitors on my MacBook Pro. This one's 1080p, 1080p, 24 inches each. It's the VE248H. The Asus V248H. I did an unboxing video of that if you guys want to check it out. Oh yeah, I almost forgot that when the computer switches to um, the screensaver, let me show you guys that. This monitor doesn't detect the screensaver. If I test it, the screensaver is on this monitor, but this one has it says Quartz Composer and it just bounces around the screen. So it's kind of a little bit. Uh, lame but it's no biggie so yeah that's my initial impressions of the adapter if you guys have any questions about how to do it how it works how to buy it or whatever leave me a question in the comments and I'll answer you within 24 hours and make sure you guys subscribe for any future videos that I'm gonna be doing on my MacBook or iPhone but yeah I still have to review this battery for my iPhone so far the Mophie juice pack plus I really like it anyways Subscribe, comment, rate, and I'll see you guys later.